Hey y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. I'm out on the river today and I have got a special guest with me. Got John from Creek Fishing Adventures. Y'all saw him in a recent video I did. I went fishing with him and we went on a, a shallow, faster flowing river, did some bass fishing. It's an awesome day, had a great time. Had a lot of requests to get him out here on a catfishing trip. So we're here today on Watts Bar and we're getting ready to do some catfishing today, try to put a big one here in his kayak. Now his kayak, he, you can see here, he doesn't have a graph, very, you know, very limited stuff, and that's perfectly okay, because where we're going to be fishing at today, we're going to be working a main channel ledge, and the depth through here, very consistent. We're on the, right now, we're going to be cozied up over here to, to the edge of this, drifting down, but the depth's going to be low 40s, 42, 44, we got somebody shooting at us over here, they're trying to run us off. Are you feeling safe right now, John? We got uh, bullets flying by us. This is way safer than what I usually do. <laughs> He's normally in them downtown creeks, y'all. But nevertheless, what we're going to do, because the depth is consistent, I'm going to keep him here along the edge of this ledge here with my graph, and he's just going to be able to have his baits just dangling there a couple feet off the bottom. I went out yesterday evening, loaded up on fresh skipjack, so we are set on bait, and hopefully we're going to get some catfish in his kayak. Now, this is your first kayak catfishing trip, correct? Yep, it is. All right. He's done a lot of catfishing from the bank, Probably done it from the boats, I presume, too. Yeah. But first time in a kayak out here after some catfish. So we're going to try to slime it up for him. Let's do it. All right, guys, we're getting baited up. John's over there filming his baiting up segment. And I might as well do the same, right? That's what we got to do here is the, as the YouTubers talk you all through this kind of stuff. But I'm going to start out with, I'm going to be fishing four rods today. Two with head pieces and two with midsection. Now, he's going to go with two rods on his kayak because again this is new and that's one of them things it's it's best i feel like when you're new to try to keep things simple don't don't come out here and try to fish like i do on your first trip use one rod or two rods and and fish somewhere like we're on today where the depth is consistent that way you're not getting snagged and you're not having to constantly watch your baits that's going to improve your success and when you have some success success if i get my words out it's going to boost your confidence and then as you get more experience then fish some places where the depth kind of changes a little more and you have to be more vigilant of your lines or add more rods to your kayak and just kind of slowly progress versus just coming out and jumping right in and, and having maybe a bad experience and not liking it so anyway i'm gonna get these baits on here he's getting baited up and we're gonna start working down this ledge oh i think i'm Got one that's got himself hooked up here. Let's reel our first fish in. I had a false alarm a minute ago with a what I think was probably a small flathead. It's acting like one anyway. Missed it. John missed one, broke his leader off. So we're getting a, we're getting some bites here to start the morning, but that right there ain't the size we have. That's a skunk buster. We'll get the first one out of the way. Boy, I sure hope we find something bigger than this this morning. That's what's been stealing our baits down there, right there. Been nipping at them. All right, get on out of here, Blue Kitty. Yep, John's over here hooked up, y'all. Heck yeah. Finally got a solid hook up here. These small fish have been just plaguing us. I'm excited about this. I, it's... I like catching fish for myself, but I really wanted to come out here and get John on some t today, and he's got him on anyway. A lot more action than I thought was going to happen. It's been yeah. rise nonstop. Yeah. This guy finally just kind of held onto it and started pulling down. Yeah. Hey, get, get him good. up. Is that flathead? Yeah. All right. John got him a flathead up there, y'all. Awesome. So that's the second one he's caught in his life. Nice. Awesome. Are you just grabbing them by the grabbing them? Yeah. You got a glove or anything? I meant to bring them and I forgot. Well, my gosh. Folks, I texted him last night. I said, do you need anything? I can bring you whatever. Nope, I'm good. Ooh. Didn't have no cutting board. I ain't got him a glove. I got a rod going here. This in here had gotten hit a minute ago. I don't know if he's still got a fish on there or not. Ooh, I got thumped. I got thumped out. 
that we're getting on some more fish right here or they've come to me i should say because i'm still spot locked right here so uh oh this one's on this is on right here this is definitely on i think that's a little better one right there now oh there goes that rod too there he goes that's pulling drag oh man this in here my hand's a good one i'm gonna keep the one in the hand but that one up there was stripping drag you know, we finally got some better quality fish coming through here well that's a digging buddy that's a digging yeah i'm doubled up right here john i got a big pile of fish on the graph here right under me This feels like it might be a flathead right here, y'all. I got two rods with fish on them. One rod laying here across the kayak. I was trying to get baited up. And I got that other head piece that I hadn't, I don't think I dropped it back down yet. So hopefully some of these fish are going to work up there to, to John's base. He's right behind me, following me down this ledge. Again, he don't have a graph on. Boy, that was a digging, man. That's a digging. Yeah, that's a flathead. I thought it acted like a flathead. Let's set him back a second. So John just caught a flathead. I got that one. Now let's see what this one is. There's some flatheads in here, folks. But anyway, I was saying John don't have a graph on his kayak, but the depth is consistent through here. So we're able to set his baits. He's kind of falling here behind me as we troll along. And so it's, it's kind of allowing him, even though we don't have a graph, to stay in position and keep his baits at the depth they need to be and hopefully catching some big fish down through here. I'd really like to put him on a good fish today. He's a pretty good dude. He's got a great channel, Creek Fishing Adventures. It's coming up on 100,000 subscriber mark. Big, big milestone on YouTube. Give you a nice little plaque. So I'd like to see him get that. Y'all go check him out if you haven't. He's got, a, again, a great channel. It's worth watching. This fish right here, I don't know what it's going to be. It's acting like another flathead. How awesome would it be to be doubled up on flatheads? He's just a digging down there, man. It is. Back-to-back -back flatheads. Doubled up on the flatheads, man. One on the head, one on the midsection. John just got one. That's three flatheads. Just boom, boom, boom right here on the edge of this ledge. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, folks. I want to get these other baits back down. I'm going to set this flathead back. And let's see, I think this... Well, heck, I got another fish on right here. Maybe I had dropped it. No, I don't. Let me just check this bait. I guess I had dropped it back down. I was thinking I didn't. I'm so discombobulated, y'all. You hooked up again, John? Ah, uh, no, it came off. It hit for a minute and it came off. Oh, crap. I set this one back. I'm going to go ahead and just drop this other bait down here. It's just a chunk of skipjack we're going to put on my other back rod over here. And then we'll try landing these flatheads before the next fish hit. Oh, yo. I thought I was going to land these flatheads. Look at this rod right here. It's swimming under the kayak. I just dropped that bait back down. I ain't been able to try to land the other ones yet. I got another one on. I don't know what he is. I'd love for it to be another flathead. I'd like to have four flatheads on here before it's said and done. Oh, that's a blue right there. That's another. That's a larger dink. Oh, boy, he's wound. He's a wound up. That fish is upset. He he meant to bite your bait, John. No, he didn't want to get caught by me. Boy, I got, all right. I got to get rid of some of these fish here, John. Hey, catch a few while I'm dealing with all these I got on my lines here, John. Oh, let me get one. Yeah, just, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of indisposed, but I'm seeing some bigger marks right here, y'all. Look at that. There's a, there's a couple bigger marks there that's showing up. So uh, hopefully while I'm getting these undone here, hopefully John's going to get, he just got his baits reset. So I think this is the second flathead I hooked up or hooked up on here, but I believe this one may end up being the bigger of the two. Yep, yep, bring that thing on in. Woo, that's a good flatty right there, folks. 
That's a good flathead. I caught some flatheads down here last week and I was hoping, I wanted to bring John out here because I thought we'll have a chance at blues, have a chance at flatheads, and most importantly have a chance at a lot of fish. You know, when you're doing a YouTube channel, you got to catch some fish and he's got one and I hate for him to make the drive up here and not go home with any footage. Look at that. Nice, man, that's a nice flathead. I got a blue over here on the left. I got another flathead back over here. We just got in some, and that's the nice thing about ledge fishing. Is it's something I encourage new people, new to the sport of kite catfishing, to do because you cover enough water, you'll eventually run into some fish, and that's what we've done out here today. We really, we haven't even went far, maybe 100 yards or so, and we got on some. Let me measure this in here for you, for those of you that care about that kind of thing. This one is. He's going to be shy 34 inches, but that is a solid flathead. That's a dang good time, man. He was stripping some drag when he... Oh, there goes my back rod. John's, John's line was peeling there too for a second. Yeah. All right, let's get rid of this. We got some fish here. We got to catch y'all. We got to go on to the next one. Flatty, you were fun. Let's let you go here. See if we can get a release shot on you. There he goes. Let's see, let me just check this here and see if we got something. No, he dropped it. I'm gonna drop it back down. I'll have to check that bait. He may have ripped it off. I'm just gonna reset it there just in case there is still bait on it and then go on to the next fish. Actually, before I do that, I gotta... I'm gonna switch this head out here. This one here has been the flathead eat it. I must have had bait on the back rod. It's eaten, been hit back there. See, that thing's chewed up. I'm gonna toss that and just stick this one down. There it is. I'm just gonna, I need to trim them fins on it, but I don't even care right now. I just want to bait down there in the water. I gotta have something down there that ain't got fish on it. That's the challenge when you get on a pile of them like this. Like you want to have at least one bait down there in good condition to tempt a big one. But to, when you got this much action, it's hard to keep a bait in the water. Let's land this other flathead here. This one was on a midsection. This one's going to be just slightly smaller than the last one we got there. But I mean, he was, he was digging. John's hooked up back here. We got so much going on here, folks. We're on them. We are on them. All right, let's go straight to the board with this. Look at the colors on that. It's like a yellow, brown, like a computer camo color. This in here is short, you know, short of 29 inches. But that's a, it was a dang good fight. Dang good fight. Doubled up on flatheads. Look at that right there, y'all. Doubled up on flatheads. John got one. He's got another back there now he's dealing with. Blue cat? Yeah. It got him a blue back there now. We're on a pile of fish right here, y'all. Get out of here, flathead. Woo! Let's go ahead and just land this mother blue here, too. That way I can just hopefully rebait everything here. This rod here had been hit. I don't know. I, it may have something on there. I don't know. I ain't got time to fool with it just yet. All right, blue kitty. I ain't got time to show you off to the world. Get on out of here. Woo! Well, it's fast and furious there for a second. I'm getting baited up here and John's rod's going off back there. His drag was peeling. I got one on this right here. I guess I do still have bait on it. Yeah, I think he's hooked up then. What do you think? Oh, man. Oh man, that sound feels like a better one too. That feels like a better one. Yeah, John's drag was peeling. He's got his his rod holders. They're not you know bolted into the kayak. We just kind of attached them here this morning. So got to kind of leave the drag a little bit loose so that the whole rod holder don't get ripped off. But this one here, I was trying to film John. I'd like to get him in the video a little bit, but. These fish, they don't give a crap. They just 
Boy, that was a nice takedown. This fish has swam through one of my other lines over here. I don't know what's up. He's got uh, he's got one of my other lines somehow. I've got this chaos going on here. I'm just going to have to reset everything here in just a minute once I get this undone. Yeah, this fish here, y'all, he had, boy, he's acting a daggone fool. Listen, he's going to calm down whether he wants to or not because I want to get him going and get on to the next one here. He had swam through my other head bait rod up there somehow, I guess while I was distracted. Get on out of here, blue kitty. Get on out of here. He gone. All right, guys. Well, we got uh, just a absolute chaos going on right here for a second. Just rods going down. John thought he was going to come out here and have a relaxing day of catfishing, just sitting around and waiting. I was telling him, it don't have to be like that. When you ledge fishing like this and you own a move, you got multiple rods out. You all see it in my videos, regular viewers. The back can be just fast and furious when you get on a big school of them. But let's get some more baits cut up here and get all these rods baited and we'll see if we can catch us some more. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this whole skipjack up here. I'm just going to cut a few pieces. I'm going to throw them tails out there, but I'm just going to go ahead and get these things cut up. That way when rods are going down and I'm trying to rebate as quick as I can, they'll already be cut. I won't have to waste time with that. Let's go ahead and have them ready, you know to be as efficient as possible out here you know with kayaks being limited on the number of rods you can use although i tend to push the limits on that with the number i use in my kayak but you still you need to be as efficient as possible to make the use of the limited space you have and also you know the limited distance you can cover so Let's go ahead, this back rod here, I'm gonna put a chunk on. Let's put this chunk right here. It's a good looking piece. And body chunks, the heads are my favorite. The section right behind the head is my next favorite. They catch a lot of big fish too. I'm gonna send it down. Get us a fresh head piece on this one here and we're gonna be back in business. John's got him another one back here, y'all. Oh my gosh. I took my, he took a piece off that time. I felt it. Dang. That was on the head. Oh, oh. I tell you folks, we're getting, we're getting some action out here this morning. It's kind of this been a, this post spawn bite that, that been on lately. The fish here in East Tennessee. Today's July 26th when we're filming this. The fish, they're pretty much done with nesting and they're back out here on these ledges and they are feeding up from after the spawn. And so it's a, it can be a fun bite here in this this kind of late summer period post spawn you can you can not only have a chance at catching some better quality fish because the fish that have been on the nest and just not eating they're back out here and feeding again but you can also have days like we're having out here today where you just get on a pile of fish and just one after another after another and it's a lot of fun especially in a kayak another one going down right here he wants it I think he may be another dinkity doodah. Let me just crank on him there. Oh yeah. Yeah. I set that hook right in his jaw when I crank down like that. And he's not happy about it either. He's down there just a rolling. Just a rolling down there. I feel him just gyrating all over the place. Like Elvis Presley shaking his hips down there. Yeah, old blue kitty. Oh, bait stealing blue kitty right there that's the bait stealing size it's all right we got plenty of bait i can go ahead and steal a little bit up, up. Now he's out of here just like that he didn't want to stick around for the for the glamour shot there y'all remember them glamour shots and women from the 80s would go and put on them ridiculous costumes and Get their hair and makeup all done. Most of them women that had it done, they probably too embarrassed to, to show the pictures nowadays. But I remember that. They used to have them stores set up in the malls and women looking ridiculous up in there. This, this rod here has got some fish after it. 
John's got something going on. I hear his drag peeling. I'm gonna get this and set. I'm gonna try to film John here a second. It come off? Yeah. Oh heck, John, I'm gonna need you to catch one today. Catch one while my camera's rolling. This in here is swam. No, I know this in here swam me back to my other line. Yeah, that fish there, he had swam with my bait, but didn't. Didn't really have it. Just more than small fish. We're gonna have to get on the move here again, y'all. See if we can run into some more better quality fish. I'm not really seeing nothing on the graph right now. Just a some small marks again so we're going to start trolling our way back down through here again trying to keep our speed slow 0.3 to 0.5 and see if we can run into some more it's time to catch another one y'all that one's hooked up too i think i got one on my other back rod over here just started with me and john started trolling again working our way down this ledge Got back on the move after going through that school there earlier. And again, haven't covered much water here and got another bite. I'm gonna I'm gonna set him back a second. It's a smaller blue. I'm just gonna check this other rod. I know it got hit while I was fighting that fish. I think he may have got my bait. I'm just gonna reel it in and check. Nope, nope, still got a bait on there. So let's drop it back down and then we'll land that other blue. These rods, man, they just, it's like, it's like you go through them and then it's just swarm on your bait. And then there's times you'll have just stretches of ledges where there's just no fish there. It's like the Dead Sea. And you're like, well, what's different about one section of the ledge versus another? But I think it's just, you know, it's their highways. It's the paths they follow when they're moving the various places they go on the river. And if you can put yourself on those highways there's a good chance that you're going to eventually just cross paths with them and you got an easy meal down there for them and this fish don't want to open up for nothing to my other rods it's going down back there now let's set this one back in the rod hole i'm pretty sure this one's hooked up this time yeah he is let's reel in another one this feels like another blue right here that other fish over there is mean though. He's mean as a dick and won't open his mouth. I had hold of him. He started thrashing around. While I was trying to get my pliers and a wall steam and now he won't open up. I tell you, these things clamp down. They got strong jaws. I mean, they can bite down with some force. Now, that's another, that's a larger dink right there. I mean, he's he's got some weight on him. These fish, I'm telling you, they feeding up here. Post spawn. I gotta be careful. Look how that's hooked. That hook's coming back out the bottom of the lip. There we go. Nice fat dink size blue there. Okay, I'm gonna since that other one's mean as the dickens, I'm gonna just put another chunk on here and drop it down before up oh, up. Oh, I'm about to slip and slide that bait right out of my hand there it's a good catch it's my cat-like reflexes let's drop it down we'll send that down and we'll see if we can land this meaning over here i don't know why these fish are so mean to me you know, i'm gonna let them go you'd think it'd be grateful but they ain't this fish here he finally opened up enough here for me there we go finally this thing right here meanest one we've caught this morning get out of here don't come back again Woo. okay let me rebate we'll be back in business here have all four rods back in commission as that front one up there gets hit a little bit i really think we kind of need to put you in front of me that way uh you'll run into these fish first as we make our way down i don't want to catch them all today john <laughs> I want you to catch the most and the biggest today. That's that one big and makes a video every time. We're gonna get John up here in front of me, folks. I'm following again. I can't emphasize that enough when you ledge fishing. I got another bite right there. 
but to follow these contours and again it's kind of kind of hard in this situation because you don't have a graph on this guy you don't normally need it for the type of water that he fishes but listen here's getting hit too but what I'm gonna try to do here is try to get him on this path that I'm on in front of me that way as we move along he's gonna come across these fish first we don't have any current flow out here this morning so we don't have that benefit of the current pushing our scent trail in front of us and allowing fish to to you know lock in and come up so if we can get him here in front of me on this hopefully the same path and uh as we make our way along he'll come across them first i really want to get him on i want to get him on some fish today i'd like for him to get the most and the biggest fish if possible so uh this rod right here is getting see how my rod tip stood up and my line's got at an angle let me just put the there it goes he got it in didn't he he got it in now you let it go and we're getting terrorized by small fish there's a bunch of them in here right now that's just so small they can't get the bait and the hook so we're just going to keep moving along here and just trolling and hopefully run into some better quality like we did there a few minutes ago when we got on the uh the flatheads there i mean three flatheads between me and john just that's awesome i love it when that happens this in here wants it pretty bad i think he may have it too He's been nipping me for five minutes back here. And I think he finally got the business end of the hook. He's gonna end up wishing he hadn't because he's probably about as big as the bait I'm using. <laughs> I'm telling you, these things right here, this size will just chew you up. If they can't fit the bait in their mouth, they'll just keep biting it until they can reduce it down to nothing and get it in there. All right, I'm going to let him go. He'll get big and strong someday. Fish 20 years from now. We got a date again. I'll see you then. I am hesitant to turn the camera on, but I think this guy, he is. He's finally hooked up. It's another one just been down there just chewing for several minutes. And that's why it took him so long to get hooked up. Look how big that thing is. Finally. I mean, just relentless, chewing it up until he finally got hold of it. Little old thing. There he is, old blue kitty. Get on out of here. At least he left me part of the bait on here. They've chewed the gut pocket out of it. I mean, they've just, they'll just keep attacking it. Keep taking bites until they either reduce it to nothing or, like in that one's case, just eventually hit it just right and get the hook. So I'm going to send that bait back down. Try to get another one on it. I got another rod behind me over here getting hit too. That and up there is getting hit. We just own another, own another small school of them here. I don't know how many fish that is today so far. I kind of lost track of them here. Probably have to edit a few out just to save on some time. As many small ones as, as we've had. And again, I'll show you here on my graph. I'm just again i can't emphasize that enough get on the edges of these ledges i know that rhymes but that's their highways and you just run into schools and this is a smaller school of fish that's on here now that just keeps terrorizing us but we're going to keep covering water and see if we can run out of them and into some better quality again y'all had a little bit of a camera malfunction there i don't know what was going on but i think i got another fish on right here we're really meant to find out they're just all over these body sections, man. All over it. I don't know what's up with it. Head pieces are getting tapped occasionally, but I mean, they're on these midsections. They're just chewing. That's another just small blue. As Well, I mentioned the head piece getting hit, and it was just then. And that's another small blue, though. We just, I don't know where the better quality blues have been this morning best one I got there was that flathead and I fished this area I wanted to bring John out here because one the depth's consistent so with him not having a graph you know it'd make it a little easier as far as adjusting baits but also too because I'd recently got on some really nice blues on this section of the river I know they're in this area somewhere we can just run into them down through here this fish here it's hooked that hooks the way it's coming back out. That's a 
dangerous situation there. I sure don't want to wear this hook this morning. All right, Blue Kitty, we'll see you. How you going? Well, let me put another chunk on here and see how long. Look at that headpiece up there. They just shredding it. We'll see how long this little midsection right here lasts. Y'all, if you're new to my channel or if you're somebody from John's channel who have come over and watched me, when you hook and you cut bait, always make sure you get them scales off your hook point and away from your barb. That'll cost you a fish quicker than anything. And what I'm doing here, John probably showed you his rigs there on his video, but I've got a Carolina rig. Just an egg sinker above a leader that's about a foot long, 10 knot circle hook. And what I like to do is just drop it straight down. This one up here, my finally got hooked. But I drop this bait straight down, and I'm gonna let my sinker hit bottom. It's on bottom there, and I'm gonna reel my rod tip down, lift up, put in the rod hole. So my, based on my leader length and the rod tip distance from the rod tip of the water surface, I know my bait's a couple, three feet off bottom there, which is perfect. Anywhere, you know, one to five feet off bottom. That'll get you bit. All right, back to it. They've been after John's bait too, just pecking and chewing. We're gonna reload him here. There's that one, sir. You want another one here too? Yeah, that should be good for now. All right, well, just holler at me. We'll get you some more, I got plenty. John, where'd you hide all these big fish at? Can you tell me where they're at? Because I'm having trouble locating them. Trying to let the drama build, get them at the end. Here. Get to get the suspense. Yeah. yeah, that's good. That helps you. If you put a big fish at the end of the video, people have to watch to the that's end, boost your view times. It's all about the views. That's all. That's what it is. Oh, I've caught. Look at this. We got a blooper on video here, y'all. I have caught his camera oh. pole. I'm trying to figure what's going on here. It's like I heard something pulling. There we go. Now, the day ain't complete without some kind of tangling. If I got to get tangled up in his kayak to have one on video, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> well, that fish was on there, y'all. This one on the head bait was on. Uh, he had hit it, and I thought he'd let it go while I was reeling in that small. He's on there. Boy, he's going to pull a little bit too, ain't he? This head bait, there couldn't be much left of it. It's been hit so many times. It's just been chewed up down there this i ain't gonna lie this kind of feels like a flathead the way it's a digging i could be wrong but it does it's got a, like a flathead feel to it we'll see when we get it up here well, we got them other flatheads first thing you know we we got set up and was fishing i guess around by seven I don't know what time it is now. It's uh, 10.53, looks like, right now. So we ain't got a flathead in a while, but... It is a flathead, sure as a world. I thought it it felt like a flathead fighting. I was like, man, I just went to... I was going to reel this bait in and just check it and just see if I still had bait on there or make sure it wasn't foul hook because it had gotten hit there while I was reeling in the small. I'd be doggone if it wasn't a flathead. Yep, yep, oh, quit it, quit it. Get on in here, flathead. That ain't a bad one either, y'all. That ain't a bad flathead. We'll throw him on the board here in a second. I'd say he's probably, probably over 30 inches. Get that, look at that bait, man. Them dinks of this down there have been just gorging on my baits today. Mine and John's both, we have gone through some bait. I'm just gonna go straight to the board with this thing and show you here. I bet you he's, yeah, folks that in there, over 33 inches right there. That's another good flathead. Nice, man. That's a welcome surprise here. Almost 11 o'clock in the morning. He's about to find his way on off the board. Get on off there, Flatty. Go on, go right through there. There you go. <laughs> I'll let him find his own way home right there. All right, guys, me and John, we're getting ready to pack it in and call it a day. We've reached that point here in the morning where it's just miserably hot. But we got a bunch of bites out here today. You know, not a, 
not nearly as many hookups as we had bites. We just had fish on us nonstop out here, but uh, got a few solid hookups with the blues, got some flatheads, which are always a fun time, and most importantly, had a good time fishing with this guy. Check him out, Creek Fishing Adventures there on YouTube. Help him get to 100,000 subscribers. He's going to be on it really soon here, so John, pleasure fishing with you. Yeah, it's fun. You just made a lot of my audience happy. They've been after me. <laughs> Get him out there taking catfishing. Thanks so. for all the help <laughs> getting me out here. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right, guys. Check it out. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching.